I'm Dr. Frank Kinslow, and I'm the um, developer of the quantum entrainment process. Take your finger, your index finger. Place it right in the middle of your forehead. And now pay attention to what you feel there. Do you feel the warmth of your forehead or the warmth of your finger? Is there a pulse in the finger? Do you feel some dryness or some oiliness? Is there some sort of energy there? Pay attention very closely to what you feel. And you can let the finger drop. Now what just happened? Well, you said nothing. Well, that's a good thing in terms of quantum entrainment. But we took a scattered uh, group of people thinking about all sorts of things, wondering what's coming here, what happened in the last talk, and all of a sudden we were together doing one single thing as a group, and within yourself, you also uh, became focused, yes? How did that happen? I mean, we take that for granted. In fact, we take a lot for granted in life. The mind just sort of skips over life like a stone over water. Um, but when we take time to pay attention, wonderful, wonderful things will happen. And that's what I'm here to share with you today. So what we did was, we just simply became aware of our finger touching our forehead. And did anybody notice any settling down? Any quietness at, during that time? A little more focused, the mind wasn't so scattered. So mind and body are intimately related. And that's what we're going to do, what we're going to talk about. That's how we're going to do to utilize or to create a healing environment. Very quickly, I'm talking about seconds to minutes with the quantum entrainment process. Now let me ask you this question. What is the most important thing in your life? What is more important to you than anything else? Take a second to think about it, if you haven't already in your life. What is more important to you than anything else? What did you come up with? Health. Health. Peace of mind. Peace of mind. Breath. Rest? Breath. Oh, breath. Breath is very important. You can't go too long without that. Love. Love. What is love? I'm not going to be able to answer that. <laughs> right. Some might say family. Some might say um, job, work, ice cream. I happen to like ice cream a lot. Spiritual connection. Spiritual connection. Okay. For me, the most important thing is awareness. Without awareness, not much else is, <laughs> has value, does it? So that's the sort of foundation. That's the basis. That's the building block on which everything else comes. Everything else is built on awareness. And what do we know about awareness? Not much. When we come down, when we think about it, there's not much that we really can say about awareness. I'm going to offer you in a few minutes here the experience of awareness in a way that most people don't experience or certainly don't experience on a regular basis. And the reason I'm going to be talking about awareness in this way is that it is the foundation not only for healing but for all life as we know it. Because without awareness we do not know it. Make sense? Awareness. Simple awareness. And awareness is simple. There's no two ways about it. It is the essence of simplicity. There is no simpler state in creation than awareness. Now, I'm saying pure awareness. Not to be confused with a thing we call consciousness or conscious awareness. When you are aware of me speaking, you have two